city of Chicago is a little bit more than a 200 years old. It's about 500 square miles and we have 3 million people. Um, economically, we are growing and we're equally distributed across 12 different industries. So it's a really vibrant place. Innovation has been a, a really strong message for the mayor since his first election five years ago. We really began um, focusing on government innovation from a data perspective in pushing our open data portal. Um, today there's more than 600 data sets that are available through API and we focus on meeting, making the data usable um, and informative to our residents. The city of Chicago has long been known as the city of big shores and now we want to be known as the city of big data. Data is the new infrastructure for the city. So we use that data to drive operations, to make more efficient choices, to improve the quality of life for Chicago's residents. So we use predictive analytics to indicate where something might happen so we can service residents better. Chicago O'Hare International Airport is located about 30 miles northwest of uh, downtown Chicago. And uh, it's one of the busiest airports in the world. In 2015 alone, we serve about 70 million passengers. Traveling uh, for passengers is it's very stressful in large airports, especially trying to figure out ways to get to the city. So co uh, collaborating with AT&T, we're able to uh, provide more data to passengers so they can make intelligent decisions about where to go. We're developing a transportation dashboard by aggregating data feeds uh, into a visualization application that allow for travelers to choose the most efficient means of transportation to get from the airport to their destination. Having this data, it's very useful to passengers. Passengers have different needs. Some are looking for a uh, low cost mode of transportation. Some other ones are looking for ease of carrying the luggage. So having the, the information for them to read and graphically observe, it's, it's very useful for passengers. Our biggest program is called the Array of Things, which is a multi-sensor node. There'll be 500 of those nodes over the next year and a half or so, collecting extensive environmental data um, and infrastructure data and activity data about the city of Chicago. Um, it's all non-personal data, so the privacy issues are taken care of, and it will be more data than any city has ever had about its environment. And it will help us understand things like air quality in Chicago and how that impacts the health of our residents. It'll help the government understand what we can do about those challenges. It'll help us understand traffic patterns and near-miss accidents and how we can make our intersections safer. So what we decided to do was to collaborate with AT&T and bring their expertise about building and maintaining and managing state-of-the-art networks. That way we could focus on the science of what to do with the data and how to design the nodes to collect the data that we need to optimize the city to understand some of its challenges. The Array of Things project is, is really hand in glove with the philosophy and the approach that the City of Chicago takes to open data. So every piece of information that we collect about the environment with the array of things, whether it's temperature, humidity, vibration, or the level of different gases, every piece of information is published. And part of that uh, publication is through the open data portal that the city has. The thread that's weaved through all of these smart city solutions is secure connectivity that allows that data to be transmitted back somewhere uh, to, to the cloud so that decisions can be made uh, and people can, can make the right decisions for themselves to have a more efficient day. So all of the projects that help make Chicago a smart city, whether it's deploying a single sensor or helping us connect to our residents or creating a solution that helps us understand flooding by putting sensors in our water system so that we can collect data about water levels, require strong connectivity and a deep understanding of the problems that we're trying to um, understand in the city. And that actually means that we need to collaborate with someone that can help me build solutions that can collect data, transmit that data, and turn that data into insights that the city can then take action on. And we found that type of collaboration with AT&T time and time again. Uh, we're working with them uh, around solutions at the airport as we try to put information in the hands of travelers so that they can get around the city more easily. Um, we're working with them around solutions that put 
um, data into the hands of tourists as um, they try to get around the city more easily. So you're probably noticing a pattern here, um, both around solutions and data, and at and understands both of those things. Um, so as we collaborate um, with our residents and with our departments, at and joins that mix and jumps right in as we try to solve those hard problems.